Hello and welcome to the next episode of Austin FC Revisited here on Football Manager 2021. Welcome to a game that pits Austin against visitors Vancouver Whitecaps managed by Mark Dos Santos. Plenty to go through since you were last here, which was hopefully the 3-2 win over Nashville. Uh, pretty impressive performance there, exciting game, lots happening. We followed that up with a 5-3 loss away at Seattle Sounders. Uh, Seattle, one of the favourites to uh, win MLS this season, so no shame at all in that. Uh, scored three good goals as well. Uh, we came away with a 1-1 draw against LAFC. Uh, that, again, a good point earned. Uh, not going to turn that down at all. In the US Open Cup, we overcame Reno 1868 away by a score of three goals to nil, uh, had to rely on some senior players, the likes of Jess Laurentovic, uh, Chris Wondolowski, uh, both coming off the bench uh, to good effect for us. Hopefully, uh, we had planned to rest them, but uh, had to be pressed into action. Back in the MLS, we then had two big wins, uh, one coming against Houston uh, Dynamo at home, two goals to nil, and then a 2-1 away win at the LA Galaxy. Finally, we played a US Open Cup tie uh, in the third round. That was away at Greenville uh, and came away with a 1-0 win. We play Sporting Kansas City at ne in the next game, actually, in the fourth round. In terms of today's fixture, we have a bit of a dust-up on social media. Imari doesn't like the look of Dominguez, thinks he's short of fitness. But Anthony Vasquez, big on Cecilio Dominguez starting and uh, thinks that I've got it right. In terms of our visitors, uh, the guys to look out for, Russell Tybert, uh, who will probably play in midfield. Looks quite a deep formation uh, from the Whitecaps. And on the bench, Freddie Montero, always somebody to look out for. We're going to go straight into the dressing room. We'll see you there. The advice from our assistant, Davy Arnu. We've been a good run lately, so get out there and impress me. Do you know, I'm going to do that, but I am going to uh, pump the fists while doing it. No reaction whatsoever. And as always, here in MLS, we have a tunnel interview. They insist on these. Uh, Matt Phillips from the American Soccer Express this time. How important do you think the good team spirit at Austin FC has been to this recent run of form? Uh, I think it's been very important, even though I don't like tunnel interviews. Again. We then worry that any loss will have a calamitous effect on player confidence, not a problem at all. I have no concerns about our mental strength. And as Vancouver are the lowest goal scorers in MLS, did not know that, uh, you must consider Austin FC favourites to win. I absolutely do. We are second uh, in the league table at the moment on 33 points, as you can see there uh, over on the right. Uh, I told the players that this is a chance for them to go out and make a real statement. Yes, we're going to be positive from the outset as we see the starting lineup. Good form there. You'll see four wins and a draw in the last five. Our usual 4 3 3. Vancouver, that deep formation, a 4 2 3 1, even a 4 5 1, uh, you'd call it, with uh, the striker really uh, out of uh, sync with his teammates there. Austin, yeah, six points back on Portland, but with two games at hand. And that starts here. Uh, at the Austin FC Stadium, which uh, looks resplendent, uh, considering that that was the roof of the stadium. Uh, Dominguez does look a bit jaded uh, to start with, as, as Max Krapau uh, gets us uh, underway here uh, with the goal kick. Marcelino Moreno, another danger man. Uh, obviously, in real life, uh, that gritty alternative, uh, he plays for uh, Atlanta United and does some good stuff for the five stripes, as there is an early chance... Uh, for Vancouver Whitecaps. One shot uh, so far. We actually have uh, a full squad of players for, for once. Uh, everybody returning to full fitness at the moment, so there's no concerns. Uh, do seem to have put out our best side at the moment as Dom Dwyer goes through, and there's the goal. 14th of the season. Another assist by Jonathan Klinsman in goal. Great effort by Dom Dwyer. He's one that I'm so glad I picked up. I uh, have managed him before on Football Manager uh, with Inter Miami, I believe. But that is a rook by the goalkeeper. An awful mistake. 
genius by Dwyer, I'd probably say uh, that was unlikely to go in if the goalkeeper was a little bit stronger in the wrist. Whitecaps immediately fire back now, but it's a counter-attack by Dominguez. He's going through, Dwyer with the effort, and it's a P-roller, but it is our second goal of the game. 2-0 to Austin FC on the counter. We hardly ever do this, to be honest. Dominguez gets tripped, and that should have been a foul. Could have been a red card. Uh, back into Dwyer, and again, it sneaks under the goalkeeper. He is having a mare, my son. Uh, the goalkeeper, Max Krapow, I think it is. Uh, awful performance so far in the opening 15 minutes. In terms of uh, Vancouver, actually, they have uh, Jake Hilton ineligible at the moment, and Bickel is injured uh, for them, so perhaps not quite uh, as strong as they'd hope to be. Our team selection is Jonathan Klinsman in goal, Bakary Sanya, right back, Parnasari and Ashley Williams, uh, the two central defenders, Dave Romney at left back, uh, Fatai Aleshe, he's our defensive midfielder, Chris Wondolowski in central midfield alongside Junior Moreno, Serginho, the Brazilian winger on the right, Dominguez, as we've seen on the left, who has uh, picked up a booking already, uh, and Dom Dwyer. Uh, the ace hitman up front. We've been blessed, really, uh, when Dwyer has been injured. Andre Lima came in, scored a couple of goals, uh, kept us ticking over, really. So, uh, pretty happy with his contribution so far. As you've seen, 14 goals for the season. Uh, 14, 15, one of the two, uh, has been a real standout for us. As we hit the half-time break uh, with uh, Austin well in front here. So the good players from Vancouver uh, not able to uh, make inroads into our uh, attacking third. Although you have to say, just looking at it, uh, face value, five shots each, three on target for ourselves, two for the opposition. I mean, it's not awful, is it? XG quite low for both sides, uh, 0.4 plays now a 0.25 uh, as Vancouver have had one more shot uh, in this half. Uh, we do seem to be uh, looking to the centre of the goal uh, to have our efforts. You can see the shot map there on the old touchline tablet uh, as Cecilio Dominguez is going to be replaced uh, just after uh, the hour mark. I think that's probably for the best. Uh, Hector Jimenez uh, on in his stead uh, as Minnesota have a 3-0 lead at Allianz Field, uh, which is a fantastic stadium, by the way, against the LA Galaxy. So obviously struggling there in LA, considering that they lost uh, to us in the last MLS game and are now 3-0 down to uh, the Loons. Uh, just going to make uh, another quick change here as uh, Bakary Sanya to take a deep free kick. Uh, have to say, Serginho not doing it today. So I wonder if uh, we can replace him. I'm going to move Wondolowski out to the wing. Is that a wise move? He can play there. He can play anywhere. An old uh, Wondolowski, and we're going to bring on in midfield uh, Jeff Laurentovic uh, just to uh, shore things up there as a deep line playmaker. Not sure that's his best role. Uh, as Sanya comes down the wing, ball through to Dwyer, pass inside. Moreno now looks for the overlap from Jimenez. Going to go all the way back to Romney with the cross, and there is Dwyer on the uh, the goalkeeper. Good effort from him. Uh, but that is going all the way to Freddy Montero, now onto the pitch, and draws a great save from Jonathan Klinsman. I uh, have to say, Klinsman, I believe, is doing good stuff with LA Galaxy in real life. Uh, so somebody we picked up right at the start of the season. Uh, as you can see, the goal's going in there at Subaru Park. Uh, Subaru? Subaru uh, Park. Philadelphia 1-0 lead, and LA Galaxy have got their goal back. They are now 3-1 against Minnesota but this has been one of the most comprehensive performances of our season uh, although we have picked up a fifth booking which sort of suggests we're kind of hanging on maybe but um, it's been a good game Junior Moreno now with the free kick saved by the Caps goalkeeper him with another big kick downfield this time Marcelino Moreno and he fires wide so uh, Klinsman's goal living a bit of a charmed life but if we can hold on, this will be an incredible clean sheet and another win. That will be five MLS wins in succession. 
since that uh, we had that 5-3 loss as mentioned to Seattle and then the 1-1 draw with LAFC since then uh, we have been absolutely storming uh, sorry not five MLS wins in total five MLS five wins in all competitions as we have been doing well of course in the US Open Cup uh, got a big tie though away at Sporting Kansas in the next round there and as you can see it's game over Dom Dwyer with two goals uh, assist by Cecilio Dominguez and Jonathan Klinsman uh, right in the uh, the opening 10 minutes there so we pick up another three points and if we look at the old uh, league table you'll see here that we are closing in on Portland so just three points between us you have a better goal difference and one game in hand a uh, bit of a worry that Sporting Kansas are third in that table in terms of the playoff picture uh, overall uh, below us Seattle Sounders you always expect them to be there FC Dallas a bit of a surprise package maybe along with San Jose Minnesota I think are stronger than they sort of give the impression of LA Galaxy they're the big misses along with LA FC you would think that those two teams uh, would make their way into the playoffs by the end of the campaign Colorado Nashville not far away and then you've got Vancouver Real Salt Lake and Houston here in the Western Conference in terms of the East Toronto FC are the leaders they've got a six seven point lead over Columbus crew uh, of course in real life MLS Cup uh, champions then we have Orlando Philadelphia Chicago Inter Miami and New York City FC all within five points of each other so really close there Atlanta United not doing so well four points shy of the old playoffs but with two games in hand Cincinnati Montreal and DC United not too far away but they need to improve greatly especially DC United with a minus 14 goal difference uh, compared to the impact and Cincinnati just at minus one New York uh, Red Bulls and the New England Revolution uh, really suffering there in fact the Revolution are uh, at the bottom side in the supporter shield which is of course everybody included uh, and New York just above them uh, as they've got a far worse goal difference than Houston Dynamo so that is uh, how things are in the MLS at the moment join me next week there'll be another game uh, as we plow through the season uh, Austin FC of course my beta save right back uh, when uh, football manager 21 was released in November October uh, and since then haven't really gone into the save at all kind of moved on did a lot of the Sunday League to legend with Leyland Albion uh, interesting news there I have to say as well because uh, recently I took a year out of that save we were in the championship and I, I didn't really fancy it so let the game play on for a year resigned uh, and then found uh, where we were Leyland Albion had been relegated as you would expect back to League One uh, having taken aside from the the tenth tier, uh, but that summer I got a very interesting job offer from Manchester City, no less, uh, cash rich Premiership club. They are the reigning Champions League winners, uh, despite finishing sixth in the Premier League. Uh, so I was uh, recruited there. Surprisingly, as well, uh, I thought that the job was going to go to Thomas Tuchel, um, of course, current Chelsea boss, but didn't happen. Uh, in the end they came knocking on my door perhaps because I was a bit of a cheaper option to be honest uh, but uh, that is something that I've got on the go uh, in the background so something to look forward to beta save uh, was of course Austin and uh, had really good fun with it anytime uh, you get an MLS side that's new and that's starting you go through all the drafts you build the squad it's completely your own you know players like Serginho has come in uh, he was at Orlando City B uh, and played really well for us you know we've given a new lease of life to the likes of Dave Romney and Chris Wondolowski uh, Ashley Williams uh, a foreign signing really proud to uh, have brought him over to MLS he's our club captain and of course Dom Dwyer you know doesn't really get the credit he deserves I, I think in the game and in real life uh, but absolutely banging him in for us uh, and as you can see there positive goal difference of eight compared to six for the Portland Timbers so join me again next week, next Friday, as we look at another MLS fixture. 
Thank you for joining me today, and I'll see you again.